Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the uh, training school of the cost action T1402 on quantifying the value of structural health monitoring. I'm uh, very happy that we all made it uh, here. This is a very nice uh, location. And uh, this is the place where we still can find some sun in Europe. Um, so uh, we are coming from uh, very different locations. So I suggest that uh, we start with an introduction round. Uh, so all uh, you, the students, and also the lecturers uh, are introducing there and themselves a few words uh, about yourself, especially from where you are and uh, what you're working on, uh, maybe why you're interested here in the training school. Um, yeah, we have a very nice room. Uh, we even have sofas. <laughs> uh, so if someone uh, gets a little tired, yeah, please use the sofa. We also have a bar. Um, I suggested that we may switch on the coffee machine, uh, but don't uh, go uh, further than the coffee machine. <laughs> so. Okay, anyway, let's start with an introduction round. Um, and uh, maybe the last should be first. So <laughs> I, I would like to start you uh, with the introduction Hi. round. Hello, I'm Francesco Giordano from uh, Politecnico of Milan. And uh, I'm the PhD student at the Architect about uh, structural monitoring and the value information. And uh, for the moment, we are focusing on um, uh, seismic uh, um, emergency management. So that's why I'm here. Hello, I'm Nicola. I'm coming from Croatia. This is my awesome colleagues. You will have to stay here. I work at civil engineering, for faculty of civil engineering in Zagreb. I work as a student assistant and researcher in timber construction and concrete construction. I'm just at the beginning of my path, so I find this school interesting to help me with my construction because I work with timber, glass, and seismic models. So yeah, I think this school will help me to achieve my path. Yeah. Hello, uh, my name is Ivan Bukacevic, and I'm also from the University of Zagreb. Uh, right now, I'm in the position of assistant professor. Uh, I'm working at uh, Chair for Steel Structures and my research interests are for the interest is, uh, are connected with steel structures and reliability of steel structures fatigue and I want to learn something about uh, value of structural health and I'm Amy, I'm from so uh, I'm, work, uh, I'm going to work on the updating and search for head monitoring. So uh, this is for me an introduction to the kind of position. Um, I'm Ray, my name is Perke, I come from Spain, as I'm doing my PC in Norway, together with Jürgen. Uh, and I'm working on uh, risk based methodologies uh, for supporting decisions as design and operation and maintenance. Uh, special focus on offshore wind energy and uh, in this sense, uh, fatigue and sentiment strength in this sense. Yes. My name is Jochen Köhler. I'm from the Norwegian University of Science and Technology and then the Institute for Structural Engineering. Uh, I have a, I'm a professor there, so my research interest is not uh, particularly value of information modeling, it's more yeah. risk based decision making. Structural reliability lately, I was very much uh, focused on code calibration, the calibration of the uh, European design codes, for instance. So it's a little bit of general uh, perspective, and I'm very happy to be here and do some work with you. Uh, okay, I'm Mislava, I'm coming from Zagreb, and with Dominic, I'm a local organizer here. Basically, I'm dealing with timber structures, but uh, I'm participating in this cost action. Let's say from the beginning, and I found this really interesting topic and just applied for a different structures. 
I am Dominic, as Mr. said, uh, we are both in this cross-section for some time, we work with other. I'm on the Department for Bridges and dealing with assessment of existing bridges. And my PhD thesis is using SHM in the assessment, so this is very related to my work and I'm really interested. Hope you will also. I'm Daniel Stauff. I'm a professor in Munich. And Similar to Jovan, who a bit broader perspective on risk based decision making applied to civil engineering, environmental engineering applications as well. Um, so I worked a bit on this topic of health uh, value of information because my PhD was already on risk based inspection planning for steel structures. Um, but I have also noticed in the, in the meantime, working with other applications, that this concept of Value of information, more generally decision making, is really applicable to many, many different fields. And uh, so I hope that maybe what we learn here today is, and, and in the next two days is not just for your specific topic of, of health, of use, but maybe for your more general life, you end up finding, uh, some of my students have realized later that they could use this concept in very different fields, right? from uh, finance to insurance. Anyway, water, mobile phones. So, uh, yes. so I think that I look forward to working with all of you. And uh, as I think was already announced, uh, there is some interaction going on in this course. So I'm also looking forward to learning more from you and uh, your particular uh, research topics. And My name is uh, Shehab Khan and I am from India. I am working uh, at the IIT Bombay Monash University Research Academy. I am a PhD scholar there. And uh, the thrust of my PhD research is uh, on the kind of value of structural lens monitoring. And our emphasis is a little diverse. We are trying to find, uh, we are trying to evaluate the definition itself and also see many applications in uh, specifically corroding uh, hydro bridges. So, very nice to be here. Uh, nice to meet you. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Vero Akhosu. I am a PhD candidate at um, University College Dublin. Um, my area of uh, research is basically um, um, vibration based structural health monitoring of fluid pipelines. Um, so, currently, I'm um, looking at developing new technology using um, piezoelectric energy harvesters to see how we can use that for structural health monitoring of pipelines. So um, structural health monitoring, I'm looking at both weeds, corrosion, and deaths, like the whole holistic approach. So um, the thing with um, developing a um, new technology as such is, at some point, you have to quantify it, the value. You have to know how effective it is. And, um, and that is where this comes um, into play, because I'll be doing lots of experiments and um, having been skilled in using of tools like this to quantify the value of SHM, I think it would be very helpful for me at that point. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Valdian Klerk. I'm a PhD student at uh, TU Delft. I'm uh, working on uh, many reliability assessment of flood defenses. Uh, and my PhD is uh, mostly about how we can manage flood defenses in time and, well, uh, optimally combine inspections, monitoring, uh, smart design decisions and that sort of thing. Uh, nice to be here. My name is uh, Mark Kulikov. I'm also from Delft University and PhD student in incorporating um, performance information on levees. So that's also like uh, monitoring, incorporating in real life <coughs> systems, um, and of course translating that in the value of that information. I am working right now as research assistant at the National Institute for Physics in Bucharest in Romania. I work in the field of engineering CS1 but since I have a background in civil engineering, I will start the PhD next week on structural health monitoring. And I think it's really good to, to learn about uh, quantifying the value of structural health monitoring as a basis for, for the PhD and for the work I, I will do further. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Pablo from Spain, but I'm doing my PhD at the University of Liège in Belgium. And my topic is risk based maintenance for observing cell structures. So I would like to take the advantage of monitoring and inspections in order to support the decision making. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Juan Mai from Vietnam. Uh, I'm doing my PhD in Belgium. The same lab with uh, Pablo. <coughs> my recent topic is about uh, life expansion and some much of the function. So, if really uh, you can find the value of the structure that's not really important. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Rui, and I'm from all University and uh, also a PhD, PhD student there. And uh, my PhD project uh, is uh, mainly about probabilistic modeling. Uh, performance of uh, sub sub subsurface graphs, and uh, currently my main focus is more about uh, the prediction of corrosion and the scale uh, within the tube. Uh, so, and I think this kind of, this course is uh, highly related to my project, and it's very helpful for me. So, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Hello, um, my name is Lisa Mort. I'm a PhD student and assistant at the University of Life Sciences in Vienna. The, my topic is about monitoring breaches. Right now we are testing a few systems for detecting damages on breaches and we also want to evaluate the possibilities of implementation of the gains data into the evaluation of breaches. And another project I will be joining about risk management breaches. That's why I think the topic of this course is very important. Thank you. Hi, I'm Antonio Rucolo. I am from Italy, a PhD student, together with uh, Pierre uh, Francesco Giordano. And uh, my research project is about the uh, condition-based uh, structural maintenance of cultural heritage. So like uh, ancient uh, towers uh, or uh, monumental buildings and so on. And I'm interested both in the quantifying uh, value of a structure, monitoring information, and both on the methodology, because I also deal with uh, data fusion from different kinds of uh, uh, monitoring systems. So, I'm happy to be here. Hi everyone, I'm Zian Dursolo, PhD from Stanford University, and my research topic was about the complex risk assessment of RC type structures and subject to aftershock acid. And I'm also interested in the session, session systems, so that's what I'm doing. Hello, my name is Tomasz. I come from Poland. I'm a PhD student of Krakow University of Technology. And my PhD thesis will be or is about the application of the distributed optical fiber sensors for strain, temperature, and displacement monitoring, uh, especially within concrete structures. And also I cooperate with industry and cooperate with a company which developed new sensor technology for schedule of engineering applications and uh, geotechnics. Thanks. Uh, uh, my name is Connor. Uh, I just finished my first year of my PhD student, or my PhD is in Queen's University Belfast. So my PhD is about kind of coming up with a new vibration-based SHM system that kind of uh, gives an indication of any change in structure behavior. So like a few other people said, uh, with any kind of new system, it's, it's always nice to kind of quantify the benefits of it, uh, which is kind of where it's just a bit of a symbol. Hi, my name is Akili Miyakisoya. I'm a PhD fellow at Oppo University in Denmark. And my PhD topic is risk informed asset integrity management of subsurface wells and uh, pressure of basins. And uh, the objective is just to develop a methodology of, of optimizing our uh, inspection and maintenance uh, planning, as well as uh, quantify uncertainties uh, associated with our uh, inspection of source walls. So, using our uh, probabilistic model and stuff like that. And that's why this is uh, quite very interesting. Hi, everyone. My name is Kashyap Ali. Uh, uh, I'm a PhD fellow at the Albrook University and the topic of my research is value information in risk informed asset integrity management. So basically I'm working in offshore structures and this uh, the course is uh, very much relevant to me because I'm also doing value information 
to quantify the every uh, uh, effort that we do to maintain the asset integrity of our offshore structure. And I'm looking forward to learn a lot from this course. But uh, yeah, you, you also have to say something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Uh, Michael Todd from the I'm a professor of structural engineering at the University of California in San Diego. Maybe I come farther than India. I think I might win the prize for the farthest. Uh, I uh, probably more important to many of you. I'm for the last two years the uh, editor of the Structural Health Monitoring Journal, the Sage. So I'm the guy that says no, <laughs> unfortunately. But uh, uh, I'm very excited that uh, I've been invited to speak to you tomorrow. We'll try to keep you awake on some topics related to the value of reliability and monitoring by risk-based metrics. Very important. This whole workshop to me is one of the most important topics on why, in my opinion, structural health monitoring is not done everywhere already. Many of the technology, technical parts of this field, in my opinion, are very mature. Nobody ties it to value or loss. Very few people. And this is a, this working group here in, in Europe is, is excellent at, at starting to look at this very important problem. So I look forward to participation. So we have been uh, in our own. We have been overlooking one student, Lija. <laughs> Thank you very much for the introduction round. Uh, I will also say a few words. Um, yeah, my name is Sebastian Tunes. I'm working uh, mainly at the Technical University of Denmark uh, on the topic of uh, risk and decision analysis, analyses. And uh, yeah, so uh, my interest is uh, that we have a good, uh, I would say, even a workshop or training school here and I'm uh, very happy uh, that you came here from uh, far distances from India but I'm most happy about uh, Michael Todd uh, joining from US so this is really great thank you very much for coming here and uh, yeah let's interact but uh, before we start uh, well actually we have not planned uh, time for this but we uh, but anyway we will do so uh, a few words from the uh, local organizers. I'm also very happy that you uh, overtook a large part of the organization. This uh, worked really smoothly uh, here. And of course, we have a program for the lectures. But I think we should also uh, think of a social program in the next uh, few days. So and uh, I would like you to lead this thinking process. OK, so a few words from your side. OK. Uh Welcome you. We want to welcome you here in Croatia, we, uh, in this beautiful city of Trogir. But this beautiful city is there, and not just here. Uh, but uh, if you have time, uh, of course, you need to see the city. Uh, believe it or not, we tried to organize this uh, workshop in the city center, but we couldn't find a hotel with uh, appropriate uh, conference room. So that's the reason why are we here. And I thought. It's convenient still. Uh, Sebastian said that we have a bar there, but uh, unfortunately, coffee is every one hour and a half here, and open bar will be tomorrow uh, for there. So, um, more technicalities, Dominic will uh, yeah. introduce. Just one thing that uh, Mislav uh, forget to mention so, the old city of Trogi, it's on UNESCO heritage list, and you absolutely should see it in these couple of days. Hope, hope you will have the time. And Regarding the technicalities, uh, we will have coffee breaks and lunch every day here in this adjacent room. And uh, dinner that host will pay is tomorrow uh, in a restaurant nearby, but we organize a 
many bus take us there uh, tomorrow after the Professor Todd lecture. And I just wanted to ask you, is there any special diet requests regarding lunch or regarding dinner? So we can arrange that in time. Uh, there is, uh, for lunch, there will be no pork any day, so if you don't eat pork, you are fine. And for dinner, I, want, I will send a list during the day uh, where you will just sign if you are going to the dinner and uh, they want fish or meat menu. And if there are no allergies or anything, then we can proceed as normal, I hope. And also, if somebody is coming with his family or some accompanying person, just fill it in plus one or something on this paper. And that's it for now. Oh, yes. Yeah, for now. And one, just one more thing, as the whole session is being video recorded, I will uh, bring the copyright arrangement. If you sign it, then you agree that uh, you are video recorded, then that it can be published on host website. Uh, many of you who have already been to post workshop and training school already signed it, but for those of you who are new, uh, you can sign it. I hope you will sign it because I don't see any reason why not. And uh, one more thing uh, for those of you who are first time in post action, there's attendance list. We need to sign it each day in order for you to get the grant. And uh, don't worry, me and Miss Lowe will remind you every morning. Sign it, but just as a reminder to you. And that's it from us. And the floor is yours. Okay, we <coughs> we will think about a social program. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, tonight uh, we can uh, we have some recommendations from the hotel management, etc., for restaurants in the old city center. So maybe we can uh, during the day we can or during coffee break or lunch yeah. arrange so we all go together there in the evening. Okay, thank you very much.